Achieving visual dominance in a motion controlled game. In order for the motion control to work, the user had to wear a white suit with brightly colored dots on it. A webcam in front of the user was used to track the colors and create a visual representation of the user on the screen. This footage shows how the system was calibrated before the actual test began. When the game begins, the user will have some figures in front of him that will show him how to stand. The game will manipulate the visual representation of the user by slowly adding rotation to the arms. The rotation in this example reaches 62 degrees at the end of the game. A game is 80 seconds long. The rotation usually had to be above 60 degrees before test participants started noticing. This indicates that the test participant trusted their eyes much more than their kinesthetics. The test participants were clearly visually dominated. The users were given points after how well they fit inside the figures on the screen. <laughs> this is footage from test 30 where the maximum rotation was 61 degrees. Sometimes the color tracking was unreliable. Notice how the blue arm jitters. The rotation is now around 45 degrees and the user seems to be really challenged but not frustrated with the controls. When the game is over, a score is displayed to the user to let him know how well he did. Notice that the maximum rotation is 61.34 degrees. This test participant said that he believed the visual representation of him was very coherent with the way he moved. The test was conducted on 41 test participants, of which only 5 noticed the manipulation. Test participants were much more visually dominated than we thought they would be.